Well, we finally got our engine. Uh, we're making preparations to uh, stick her in there. Probably do it tomorrow. She's getting towards evening and get some more help so I can guide some bolts. But anyway, I wanted to go over a couple of things. Uh, if you ever put a new wiring harness on or get a new combine, um, Echo, well, any manufacturer just puts them together too, too in a big of a hurry. Um, one thing we've noticed, uh, they tie them to these uh, fuel lines. Do not tie them to the fuel lines. These little grooves here, let's zoom out. They'll, they'll just eat. That plastic is stronger than steel for whatever reason. It'll just vi vibrate into those steel lines and then you'll be spraying diesel. And Anyway, it's fun times. So anyway, I, I uh, went through about a bag of zip ties. I know you'll cuss yourself later when you gotta work on stuff, but um, I just zip tie them up and uh, with the wind, the wind coming, you know, it just vibrates these uh, wires. We've had lots of trouble uh, with wires breaking inside the harness. And uh, so I um, sturdy them up as good as I can. Uh, this mass flow sensor, New little technique, I don't know, just playing around. Uh, I've always used electrical tape to try to stop this fitting uh, from moving. It'll just sit here and vibrate, and um, the wires will just wear in two in there. <laughs> so I took a big zip tie, just kind of made a little stiffener. And so I'm hoping, it's pretty stiff now, so I'm hoping she doesn't uh, vibrate around. So anyway, um, also, I should have took, I put this ECM on. Right behind this ECM is uh, some fuel lines that go over here to the fuel pump right behind there. Um, you never think about it, but it's uh, any time, really, you need to do it any time. There are some clamps that hold those together. Um, you just need to take those clamps off. Uh, same deal, they have little, uh, looks like this on the inside of them clamps, so it's supposed to grip the pipe. Anyway, it'll just vibrate and then um, just eat right into those lines. So I just take the clamps off. It's <laughs> a lot less trouble with the clamps off then, because then it just sprays diesel in behind here, this ECM, and it, it just makes a big mess. Um, anyway, just some little tidbits. It's save your son sell some time in the field. Uh, just been in, I don't know, I probably spent a couple of hours not working hard just messing around here uh re, you know just even unclipping stuff all you know this kind of a mess here i played around with this a few times just unclipping the wire and harness trying to get things to lay better uh there's really no great way but i just kept playing with it until i didn't seem like i got the wires too kinked and got everything laid together and Anyway, it's still kind of a mess, but biggest thing is just getting them, getting that stuff where it's above those fuel lines, uh, so it's not rubbing there. So, anyway, hopefully we make this useful. Hope we have you a video tomorrow about putting this engine in, and it'll be a little bit before we get running. Uh, still got weight on a radiator and some stuff like that, but uh, coming together hopefully. <laughs>